On sailing Catalpa. We get ready to leave Australia doing our last boat jobs. Celebrate my birthday and have more engine troubles. Morning babies! Woo! We're going to Indo! We're going to Indo! Let's go family! With the kids super excited to leave, we pull the anchor and head off on our first ocean crossing to Indonesia. How excited are you, babe? A bit nervous. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's higher, your excitement or your nerves? I don't know. It's pretty even. What the weather's like. I don't think we're going to see rough weather. But, um, yeah, we kind of just want wind. Hopefully there's enough wind. So it's all under 10 knots and we sort of like it above 10 knots. So there we go. Unless it's straight behind us, that's all right. We just don't have a big spinnaker, so if we had a asymmetrical, we'd be right. Oh, you'd be right. Would you be happy then, would you? Hard to please this one. So it's our first day on passage to Indonesia. No wind. We have only motored so far because we are just, when we left Darwin, there's a lot of current, so we had to kind of, we were going with the current, so we wanted to make sure we were well and truly out before we turn off our motor and start bobbing around. Because there's not a breath of wind. And it's hot. Wind gods. The wind! Just from behind, about 15 knots would be lovely. Thank you! And we're in the middle of the ocean in between Darwin and Indonesia. Is someone trying out their SUP board? There's no wind, so Sarah thought it was Kuna time. Thanks to my beautiful little family for putting out there to the social media world that I'd love a SUP board. We had the amazing people at Kuna Board send me this awesome inflatable SUP that I love, by the way. So our first day on our Indonesian passage has been very calm, no wind, but we've motored all day. So day one's nearly over. What do you got to say, Captain? Oh, it's a marlin. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So Lee's gonna try and get the lure out with him in the water because we got told if they go out of the water they die, so we don't want him to die. It's a bit tricky. Good luck mate. So it's still day one of our passage to Indo and um, we just put the sails up for the first time. So the wind's just picked up to like 20 knots. We've had no wind at all, all day, about one, two pretty variable winds. I even had a paddle board in the ocean earlier. So the sun's going down on our first night. 
Well, for our first night on our passage oh. to Indonesia. Oh. It's the 20 nights and it's backed off. Can you smell like glory yet? Um, to about seven. But we're still moving in no motor, so that's okay. <laughs> and hopefully it picks up tomorrow. Then, wasn't he? Hey, Have you got the radio on? Good afternoon, man. This is a Border Force 99. I see you, Channel 72. 72. Over. Switching to 72. You guys have a safe trip, and we'll talk to you next time. Uh, Border Force 99, going back to 16. Thanks for that. Have a great day. Uh, so we can tell by app. Going on on the radar is we've got a lot of storm action. So I might just turn here and go on a bit of a reach and go through the middle of this. So we don't know, they seem to form up and build pretty quick. But there's there. one good thing. We, we have wind. Yes. So we haven't had wind this whole entire time. We've had the motor running, so we're just stoked we got some wind. But we don't want to go into the middle of a storm. No. Just talk to uh, Border Patrol or Border... Force Patrol. Border Force 99. Yeah, they came, flew over us and um, just checking us out. So I guess we're still in Australian waters. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't be checking on us, eh? Yeah, it's, uh, we're right on the right border. Right on the border. So we're right in the middle of the Timor Sea. We're about halfway on our passage to Indonesia. Um, so we've got about 200 nautical miles to go, maybe. A bit over. 250. Uh, 250 nautical miles from Indonesia. Woo! Halfway. So it's coming to the end of day two on our passage to Indonesia, and um, we have no wind. It is the end of the season. We know it's November. And <laughs> a bit of wind last night, and then it dropped out. But we didn't have the motor going all night, so that was nice. And, but we've seen some pretty cool things. I've seen some sea snakes, a few dolphins. That thing in the water right Whatever now. Whatever that is, getting chased. Um, today was just really hot, so the days have been really, really hot. There's no, not much wind, and this when the sun's out, it's just so hot. The boat's hot. Oh yeah. God, it feels so nice after a shower. Yeah, so tired. Everyone has a shower or hoses down or gets a bucket of water every few hours just to stay cool. Um, what else have you done today? What have you done? Boring stuff. Watch movies. Been drawing a picture and just gone down to have a rest before our night watch. Last night we had about, I think it was about two hours, every two hours we switched, so it was pretty rough. Um, we were pretty tired, I had to sleep today for a few hours, but Lee hasn't, so he's gonna have one now. So we're just sitting here, I don't know if you can see, but um, there is like hundreds of little crabs in the water, just swimming past. Looks up there on some kind of migration. Wind's picking up. Could it be? We're just downloading weather, and there's not much. It's not looking good. It's looking like this. Uh, oh 
do ya. Another four days of motoring. No, I think I failed. I failed at capturing crabs. Just trust me, there was lots of them flying past the boat. Hey back. You're back now. So sun's going down for our second night out at sea in the doldrums. <laughs> so there's no wind. We have our sails up in hope. So Lee gets burnt all the time. And uh, when we're in, one. we're in Darwin, we got this hat. <laughs> Chris had one at TI and it was uh, bloody brilliant, mate. So he shouldn't get burnt anymore. And he's wearing it. Crabs are still coming past. I tried to film them before going. And then they like. passage and we've got the engine running because it's really really still. What can you see babe? Nothing now. <laughs> still out here you can see every little ripple on the ocean so it's day three of our ocean crossing to Indonesia and um, we're still motoring still no wind Lee's just working out if we've got enough fuel to actually get there so fingers crossed we get some wind just a couple of days of wind would be really nice but you can see we're getting more in the hang of it now, uh, lasting longer each time, so I think we only had, we were both awake till about 10, and then Lee went on watch till about 1.30, and then I went on watch till about 4. So, and then he went on watch, and I went back to sleep, and he's still awake. So we'll have a sleep at some point today. So we finally turned the motor off. And there's a little bit of wind just to fill the sails. We're only doing two knots, but there's no motor, so that's good. And what do we got here? We have to open some crocodile jerky and try it for the first time. Got it first. Okay. It looks really gross. You want some? No, I bet you try it first. Do you want it? Are you trying no, it? No, you try it first. I'm too scared. Bella? Okay. <laughs> His imagination's kicked in. No, you try it. I, I got good? two. You two can have it. Hard piece. I don't like it. Yuck. How do you like it, Daddy? I reckon it's good. Two? Okay. It's real good. I, first of all, I can't even bite it. The flavour is disgusting. This tastes like cardboard. I don't mind it. So there's enough wind to make the sail flat. But if you actually look out, it's just a complete glass out. And it is just, we're halfway across an ocean with no wind 
and limited fuel, so we don't really want to motor too much. So Sarah thought, you know, <laughs> just a good time to jump in. It's still moving a little bit. Just like a sheet of glass. They say June, July is the time to go. <laughs> we thought we'd just go November when the wind stopped. What's going on over here? Well, we stopped for a swim. So I thought I might have a little bit of a paddle around as well. We're in the middle of the ocean and you decide you just want to go for a paddle out there. Day three into our trip and we've had to just give the, the, the uh, engine a little bit of a break. So to kill a little bit of time, Sarah thought she'd have a little bit of a stretch out. It's been a while. She used to teach SUP yoga. So I uh, don't know if she's still got it or not. But it is a beautiful day out here in the Timor Sea. Uh, wind is less than zero knots. Uh, the sea is like about 0 0.001 of a metre. I think you still got it. We looked on the radar and there's a couple of storms out there so we're just going to go to our left a little bit try and avoid it we thought it might have just be a bit of rain but there was some uh, claps of thunder as well so we thought we'll go around if we can what does it say cab well you can see our line here we're running out this way to the west and it's sort of moving up that way to the northeast. so we're going to head out this way and try and go around it Dog's this one down here, now we've got to get around the sun a bit closer. A bit closer, and where are we? Uh, in the we're middle. smack bang in the middle. So I reckon that's pretty, pretty good at halfway. Halfway between Australia and Indonesia. And we've had the calmest of calm weather. So we've just put our first reef in just to be safe. We've had no wind all day and we've got about five knots now, but we just, we turned around and uh, we realized that there's two storm cells, one's behind us and one's to the side. So better be safe than sorry. So this is the fastest we've gone the whole passage. The difference uh, a couple hours ago. Plants are getting some water. Now it's past, we kind of want to go back towards it so we get some wind. Because we've had no wind all day. So, uh, 
Well, he's going to head towards it again. Just to run alongside it, not to in, in the middle. There's a rainbow over here. So we're thankful for the bit of wind that that storm bring and we're just like, hoping it continues. Wing on wing. Our favorite, favorite way to sail. Hey, cat. Woo! Got wind, baby! So we're in another storm cell. And we've got our harnesses and our life jackets. Already, because yeah. it's about four o'clock in the afternoon, so this could go into the night, so we just prepared for... Prepared for the worst. For worst case. Storms late in the afternoon is not ideal as everything intensifies once it gets dark. But we are excited about the wind that it's brung and sailing without the engine. But looking at the radar in the dark and seeing the storms building means tonight we aren't going to get much sleep. So join us next time as we continue our passage and arrive in Kupang, Indonesia. Oh, it all comes all thanks to you all. to y'all